So in this video, we're finally going to get our character to move. So this is a really, really important thing for our game, because at the moment, our game is very stationary. And it's more like a picture at the moment. So how do we get our character to move inside our level? I'm going to click on our character, right click, I'm going to add, and then we're going to add a behavior. Now again, behaviors are something that's really powerful in Construct and just affects properties of a certain character or object. So there's a couple that we want to do. So first one we want to do is we want to do scroll to. Now if you click on any behavior, it will tell you what it does. Always center the view of the object or midpoint of multiple objects. So what does this mean? This just means that the camera is now going to follow our player. So that's a really important one to have on. We want to also add another behavior so we can add multiple behaviors to the same object. Our player is going to have quite a few. And we want to scroll all the way down until we get this one called platform. Jump and run along platforms, solid and jump through objects. So press add. So when we click play, what this is going to do is now we're following our character. And I can use the left and right keys to move it. And I can jump. Now we start to see some problems once we're playing our game. Actually our character takes up a lot of the screen and we can't see a lot of what's going on. So now's a really good time to change and reformat some things in our game. So we're going to make our character much smaller. We're also going to make our platform a bit smaller as well. So now when we play it, our character doesn't take up as much of the screen. If we fall off, we see our character just disappears, and we'll fix that later on so our character does respawn. And when we've got this platform behavior on, we also change the properties of our object. So we've got our standard properties that we might have seen before, but now we've got two new ones. So for scroll to, we've got yes or no. So we want this on as yes, so our camera's gonna follow our player. But this one's the most interesting one. Under the platform, we've got stuff like speed, acceleration, deacceleration, jump strength, gravity, max full speed, double jump, uh, double jump, jump sustain, so time in milliseconds to allow to jump again, um, reach higher of holding, so if you're holding you can jump higher, default controls and if platform is enabled. So with this we can quickly change some stuff and we can make it so our character can jump much higher, they've got less gravity, and they move much faster. So depending on the game you're making, you might want to play around with these options to see how they work. You need to be very careful. As you see, my character is now lost, and because of the very, very low gravity, my character is going to take a very, very long time to come back down. So be realistic. <laughs> so be realistic with what you set these values to, and it's going to come up to a bit of trial and error, especially once you add in other properties. If you don't like what you've done, just do control Z and that will undo your options. So now we've just got double jump left on, which is a lot more realistic now for our character. So that's how we get our character to move around the level. 